Hi, my name is Jeff. Today we're going to go over moving data from one list to another list. But there is a complication that we're going to go through. You don't own the first list. So you want to create a list based on somebody else's list content. But you're creating it in your list, a list that you own, so that you can use it as part of an application. We don't own the other list. So there is a little bit of a complication on how we can do that. So this is an exception to that rule. And let's go ahead and figure out how to do it together. It's really not that tough. Uh, you're going to see when you when you start doing it, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. OK, so look at the screen here. We have two lists. We have one here called PM question from the SharePoint site QC service. We have another one called list of questions and quality control hub different two different SharePoint areas. Now, granted, you may have access to both areas and then that would be OK. But let's assume you don't. Let's pretend you don't. OK, so we're looking at this list here. This is the data we want to extract. We've gone ahead and put in some fields in our list that we're going to dump this into. A couple things to note here. First of all, these are complex fields or what they call choice fields inside of the list. We're going to go ahead when we do the capture, we're capturing in its current state. So for example, that first line, the category is phone shop slash online review. And then the next report is online. We're going to capture those in their static condition. We're not going to capture all of the options in that choice field. We're going to recreate that choice field in another list so that Power Apps can use it as a collection in its own way that it does dropdowns. So we're going to just capture in its state. That's the takeaway here. So we're going to go ahead and hit export. Now, you can export to Excel or CSV. I, I haven't had a lot of luck with Excel exports, so I've gone ahead and exported it into a CSV file. When we do that, let me go ahead and open that up. It's going to appear just like this, and it's going to ask you, do you want to save it as a, as, excuse me, do you want to save it as an Excel file? You just click there, and now you can save it. I've already done it here called questions categories, but you would just hit save at this point. Now, that's pretty easy, right? We need to clean up the information. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one off to the side here. And then I'm going to pull open the, the one that we're going to use so that you can kind of see the difference. Hold on. OK. So this one, notice that it's got the drop down box here. That's because we did a format as a table. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Also notice that we only have three columns. The three columns that we have are the three columns that we have put in our new list. Questions, category, reports. So. If we minimize this and go back to this guy. So notice here that you have that, but you have a lot of other information. So we don't need all of this information. We really only need a little bit of this information. So we're just going to go ahead and delete those fields. We just click on them and do delete just like this. Okay. Now we have all the information we need. If we double click, we can see what the information is, yada, yada, yada. OK, so we don't need to do that right now. All right. So and you can resize it again. I, I just don't I'll do it. OK, all right. So now we have all three to make this a and there's more questions than we see here. So to make this a, a table, we're just going to highlight our data. OK, got it. That's pretty easy. And then we're just going to say format and we're going to just format it. And we're going to say, yep, I got headers because here's my headers. List of questions, blah, blah, blah. We're going to good, good to go. Now we're, we have a table and that table's ready to be used within Power Automate. So let's go ahead and create the flow. So we want to create a new flow. We're going to hit create right there, instant flow. And we're going to name it here, copy questions. And we're going to name, we're going to put it here as a manual trigger. Why manual trigger? Because this is a utility that we're building. We're going to get rid of Copilot. We're just building a utility. So the first thing we need to do, right, we have all of our stuff in 
Excel. So we want to list the rows. So rows present in a table. That's the one we want right there. I'm going to click on that bad boy. And it's going to come up and ask us, where do you want to look for this information? We're going to click on this down arrow. And we're going to go up here to OneDrive. Because we stored everything inside of OneDrive. Remember, we copied the file, put it right there. Then we're going to click, and it's just going to ask us for OneDrive. Right? We're going to do that. And then we're going to say what the file is. Now, we've already put the file inside that directory. We're going to hit question cat Excel. Now, if for some reason you did not put the file in there first, and you're creating this Power uh, Automate script, you may have to exit back out of Power Automate and come back in again. So close the flow and then reopen it. It's a little quirky sometimes, but it helps refresh everything in the environment. Then we're going to click on this bad boy, see where the table is. It should say table one, bada bing. We don't need to do anything else here. We're done. So now we're going to just do our next item, which is what? We want to create something inside of the list. So it's a SharePoint list, and it's right there. Create item. I'm just going to click on it. Now we're going to need to tell it where is that list. We're going to click on the down arrow. We're going to choose QC service because that's where the list resides. We're going to click on here, and we're going to look for the the value, right, the list, and which happens to be PM question. We're going to go ahead and click on there. Now, we're going to say, show all the fields on this one. The reason why we do that is because we want to, we are, now we're going to map the data from the Excel spreadsheet that we did here into the SharePoint list. So let's do that. We don't need title because we didn't use that field. We can close it. We don't have to close it, by the way. We're going to hit on question, and now we're going to see the questions the way they are represented within the Excel spreadsheet. In this case, it says list of questions. We're going to do that. Category, we're going to click on that boy, hit category. Report, we're going to click on that and hit report, and now we're done. We're going to go ahead and save this. So we're going to save this out, and then we're going to go back to the list while it saves. And here it is right here. Where is it? PM question. Let's take a look. There's nothing in it. Okay. So we went ahead and saved. And the green banner is good. If you get another banner, you've done something wrong. But we're good to go there. We're going to go ahead and hit test at this point. Now test, we're going to do a manual test. Hit test. And then it's probably going to ask us for our credentials, which it does. Now it it sees the two green check marks. We're good to go. We could change that if needed. And we're just going to hit run flow and then we're going to hit done. And what we're going to look for now are green dots, green check marks, excuse me. And it's going to have those green check marks. Now, again, notice that it says one of 91. Also, notice that we hit create item, but we never created this for each loop. See that icon? It's a loop. Why is that? Well, the reason why is because. We um, we have all of our information, and it's looping through. It's going through this this spreadsheet and dumping the information into this into this uh, list. Now, question is not the list we want. We want PM question, and there it is right there. You see the data it's starting to come in. We can do a count, I think, on this. Uh, no, we can't. Let's see here if we can do a count. Total count. So we have 91 records. And do you see that was our original inside of the spreadsheet? So we have successfully transferred all of the questions with their current category. Now, remember, our category, we don't have. Um, now, we didn't pull up a report, which is interesting. So we'll have to go back to Power Automate. It shows that we're good with pulling over all the information. So our source, we'd have to go back and troubleshoot our source to see what type of information. But the key information we really wanted was question category. We got it. And it also signed, notice here, an ID. We did not create this ID, by the way. We just used a field right here that's native 
within SharePoint. So that's how you move data from one list that you don't have ownership to, to another list that you do have ownership to. Good luck.